Good morning, my brothers and sisters. We're still in the season of Easter, but I'm still stuck on the first day of the resurrection. There are basically four main events that happened that during the time, but I just want to focus on the fourth, but run through quickly the first three events. The first one, the two angels appeared to the women, and they were told, The Lord is risen from dead. Go and tell his disciples and Peter that Jesus is going ahead to Galilee. There he shall see them. Number two, Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene and to the other women and told them, Do not be afraid, and told them of the same message. And the third one, there were two disciples on their way to Emmaus who encountered Jesus and recognizing him only in the breaking of the bread. They ran back to Jerusalem to tell them about the good news. All of them told the disciples that the Lord is risen from dead, but they did not believe them. The story seemed pure nonsense. The fourth one, in the evening of the same day, suddenly Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you. They got so scared, thinking that he was a ghost, so he invited them to believe and to touch him, that it is really him. The joy was so great that they still could not believe it. They were downfounded. So he said to them, Do you have anything to eat? And he ate before their eyes. Just imagine the tension. Jesus, on one hand, who experienced being abandoned by almost all his disciples, betrayed by Judas, disowned and denied by Peter three times. The disciples, on the other hand, feelings were mixed and intense. Feeling of shame and guilt, pain, anger, and, and failure. Feeling of fear. I did a quick survey among my friends and asked them, what would you do or what would you tell your friends if you had a chance to go back to those who abandoned and betrayed you? Their answers ran from, why did you do this? I expected support from you. You left me alone. Betrayal, but never from you. Who can I trust now? Notice that Jesus' first act after the resurrection was to look for his disciples, his brothers. He comes to look for them. This is simply amazing. His presence alone among them speaks with absolute clarity. Number one, that he is truly risen. What the women and the two disciples were saying were true. He is not a ghost. He ate and saw it with their eyes. Number two, that they were forgiven. This is very important. He didn't blame or judge them. He understood human failings and weaknesses. Number three, that his love is unconditional. He doesn't expect to love him the way he loves us, revealing to us the heart of his Father, that we can rest at him knowing that he loves us the way we are. And finally, that we need not be afraid at all because he promised to be with us until the end of time. And so the Lord comes today to give us the same peace. Again, with those comforting words of peace be with you in the midst of this pandemic that has overwhelmed and overtaken us with fear. Let us therefore welcome him into our hearts and to receive the same spirit so that we can love the way he loves, forgive as he has forgiven us, and be at peace, believing that we are never alone as we journey towards the kingdom. Thank you and God bless.